When you've been pushed to the edge, you have two choices. You can either keep being pushed and fall to your own detriment, or you can stand your ground, look your opponent in the eye, and push back. Hello everyone, I'm Ferlin Webster Jr. with MRC TV, and I am so sick of the liberal outrage culture. For those of you who don't know what the liberal outrage culture is, it's pretty much... You get it now? Good. I know most of you have been seeing Kevin Hart in the news lately because leftists want to make him re-apologize for what they call homophobic tweets that he sent out years ago. These ancient tweets have been causing a problem for Kevin Hart. Leftists have been continually attacking his character. He was basically forced to step down for hosting the Oscars, all because these Looney Tunes just won't let the past go. I'll never let go. It's funny because in situations like this, the media just drags things out because they have nothing better to talk about and mainly because they want to make people bow down to them in sackcloth and ashes until they're very, very sorry for what they've done. Sorry. 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 Now, just the other day, Kevin Hart was on Good Morning America to promote his new movie, The Upside. But I have a feeling that the real reason they brought him on the show was not to promote his movie. The real reason was to make him cower before the liberal media's audience and to show people that no one would ever be able to withstand the strong gusts of the outraged mob. You apologized, you mm -hmm. said you were sorry, but there are a lot of people who've taken an issue to the way that you've apologized. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you say to that? I say I'm done with it. It gets no more energy for me. That's so, why I said for the last time, I'm addressing this. It's, it's, there's no more conversation about it. I'm over it. I'm over it. He says. Now, do you think that response ended that conversation and GMA was able to move on to the interview's supposed purpose? Heck no. Of course it wasn't. Did you forget we weren't talking about normal people here? How have you evolved? I have explained how I evolved, which makes me say I'm over it. I'm not over delivering and over proving myself because no matter what you do, it may still not be received. And you'll find yourself in a position where you go, well, what else do you want? You want blood? Strahan tried his best to get Hart to submit, but he would not. You can see he was digging deep with those questions in an effort to make Hart fall into the liberal booby trap. But Hart would not be mastered. And there are people who feel like, well, you have to address it. Here's what I would say. If there wasn't comment number one that addressed it, mm -hmm. I would totally get it. If I didn't say that I addressed it way back then in 2008, 2009, then I would get it, but I know I did. Then I readdressed it again. Then I went on Ellen and did what I thought was addressing it. Well, were then you surprised that the backlash that Ellen received from it? It shows me that there is, no, there, is no, there is no ending to it. If you keep feeding this energy, then it's going to grow. You're not getting no more of my energy from it. First, Hart stood up for himself when he was on Ellen, making it clear that he realized that people were just out to end him. Then he stands up for himself on GMA, making it even clearer that he was done with this crazy liberal agenda crap. We see leftists do this over and over and over again, where they'll use ad hominem attacks against you, they'll call for you to be fired from your job, or they'll use any tactic they can think of to scare you. But this dude right here had enough. And I'm more than sure his response threw a lot of people off because usually when people are demanding an apology, we see something like this. Oh, this is a nice Hey, joke. we're live. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back to Libman's Forced Apologies. I'm Liberal Libman. Today we have with us John Rongington. John, huh? you've done something wrong, haven't you? Oh yes, Mr. Libman, I have. It has come to my attention that I have done something wrong. And I am so, so, so very sorry for this. I really hope the people who I don't know and who, who don't even care about me can accept my apology so my Twitter account can be restored to its full mobility. Well, Mr. Rongington. That apology sounds like it was heartfelt. Oh, it's definitely heartfelt. 
It is. We'll let the audience decide that. Audience, what do you think? Should we forgive Mr. Wrongington? <laughs> well, John, it looks like you've been forgiven. Oh, thank you. Return thank you. to Twitter heaven. I promise to be in line with your liberal agenda from now on. You better. Hart stood very tall during this interrogation process because he wouldn't allow himself to be added to the library of the liberals' forced apology victims. Hey, Ferlin, can we learn something from this situation? Oh, yes, we can. Do not back down from these crazy people when they come after you for something you said years ago or even minutes ago. When they call for you to be fired from your job or for you to resign, keep moving forward, ignoring them in the process. Because if you don't, you will be pushed over the edge. Don't push us, cause we're close to the edge. We're trying not to lose our heads. Uh, well, folks, that is all I have for you today, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. And remember, if you keep backing down to a bully, you're gonna keep having your lunch money taken. For MRC TV, I'm Ferlin Webster Jr. <laughs>